Hey folks, it's your favorite sorcerer again with <clears throat> another video on how to work with angels. In this video, I'm going to cover a very powerful ritual that you can do with Archangel Michael. Now, please understand that just like with the demons, you know, or with the, let's say, Goetic demons. In, a go in Goetic magic, all of those 72 demons that we talk about so often are part of an entire system, you see? And the system requires a certain set of um, tools, rituals, and so on and so forth in order to do them really, really powerfully and the way they're meant to be done. Now, you can still work with those entities outside of those ritualistic, uh, outside of this ritualistic setup. However, uh, the results are not going to be as powerful. And uh, learning exactly how to set up the ritual, what the necessary parts are to, you know, bind the demon before it can do something for you and so on and so forth. All of that my close students learn in, let's say, the order or other programs, courses, whatever I provided and provide. So the same thing applies to angels, of course, as well. If you want to get the most out of working with, uh, with, with angels like that, that are part of a spiritual hierarchy, uh, you of course have to set up everything ritualistically correctly as well. Right? Now, this is not what I'm going to go into here. Because, like I said, you can contact those spirits and work with them <clears throat> outside of the outside of the ritualistic context that is usually being used. Okay, so let's go into the ritual that I want to share. This is the this is a ritual that allows you to, to move into the future and resolve your past, and also create the best possible outcomes for you in the future. Okay, and this will require. Working with Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, I'm sure you heard about that guy before. Archangel Michael is one of the all. You know, it's always it's always uh, difficult to say who's more powerful than who, whatever. It doesn't even matter. They all have a different job to do, and they're supposed to do it very well, and they do. They're very, very powerful at what they're supposed to do. And Michael, among other things, can allow you to cut off karmic ties. Karma is not a term that is being used usually in... In the context of angelic magic, because angelic magic, in the, in the way we're describing it here, is Kabbalistic magic. Please understand that there's always a religious, philosophical, and ritualistic context to any entity that you're talking about. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that the teachings of the Kabbalah or the Bible are the only truth there is out there. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, just because we're working with angels, it doesn't mean we, we become Christians. That's not what I'm saying. I'm an occultist, you see. Occultism to me is, a, is, a, is an art form. And the study of the structure and the dynamics of the, of the universe, which includes the physical universe and the spiritual universes. The truth is much greater than any religion. And the God of the Bible is not the real creator. Okay? The divine is within us all, and we have the ability to tap into any system and make it work for us, okay? So you can tap into a Kabbalistic system and command the angels, command the demons, but still not be a Christian. But for the duration of the ritual, you have to accept that type of energy flow and, and, and atmosphere and much more. This is called a paradigm shift, which is not what I'm going to explain here, but... Every other system as well, every good system, works in this works in the same way. You can plug yourself into it and make it work, but this doesn't mean that we become superficial. And these entities are real, yes, but they only show you. It's like a they only show you part of the truth. You see, so you got to go beyond meta, meta. <laughs> Anyways, so that's <clears throat> um, there is definitely a a prime creator. A first creator but that being expresses itself through you me and all other spirits combined so this is not to say that I don't believe in God or whatever I do believe in the God but not the God of the Bible or any of those this is a much much more complex thing okay so with that being said let's go into the ritual Michael can help you 
cut karmic ties, which in, in, in this interpretation, this context means he cuts off energetic connections that you have to the past, to people from the past, to experiences from the past that are preventing you from moving on. In order to move on into the future, you need to let go of the past. Simple as that. Now, this might sound simple, but it is very profound and oftentimes more than not, I would say in 80 to 90% of the cases, the reason why you're not having success with what you're doing right now and, and, and getting where you want to get to is because exactly those energetic ties are still holding you back. And this is very complex. It doesn't mean that you know exactly where it's coming from. It's not linear like that. Things could affect you that you are not even, you don't even remember them. They're unconsciously there. You don't even remember them. They're not obviously connected to what you're doing there, but they're still affecting you. It's like a, like, a, like a circle of dominoes, and you are one of those dominoes. So everything in the universe is cause and effect. You do one cause, boom, and brrr, eventually we'll return back to you with lack of time. And the more time is in between cause and effect, the harder, harder it will be to connect the two. And this is where all the confusion comes from in this world. Okay, so let's go into the actual ritual with Archangel Michael. So the first thing that you need to do in preparation is you need to do a meditation of, let's say, five to ten minutes. Really get relaxed and focus on the moment. Okay. And then get a piece of paper and a pen or your choice of writing tool. And uh, write down that everything that is blocking you right now that you're conscious of and not conscious of you're ready to let go of and to make peace with it and everyone involved. Okay? Write that down. And then relax and call Archangel Michael. How do you call Archangel Michael? You have to have a clean room. This is very important. Okay? Angels like clean environments. Okay? Even if your aura is not clean, which I doubt it is, uh, at least get your environment clean. Okay? Don't expect them to manifest too densely if you don't have incense burning. If you can use incense, uh, use frankincense. That always works. Okay. And uh, use a. Uh, you probably uh, some of you might know um, a banishing ritual. Others don't. Like even if you don't know a banishing ritual, uh, just use the incense to, you know, get rid of the negative energies. And if you know a banishing ritual, do the banishing ritual before uh, the whole setup that I'm explaining here. Okay, good. Now, how do you call the spirit? You relax as, as much as you can. Allow yourself to fall into yourself. The better you're able to relax, the better you're going to be able to connect to your energy body and the better you're able to sense the presence and even the communication of any spirit, but in this case, Archangel Michael. And then you ask him to help you. You ask him to help you with what you're about to do here. I want to release all of this. Please help me and tell him about your problems, everything. And uh, then ask him to cut all the ties with your past that are no longer serving you so that you can move on into the future. Those that you're aware of as well as those that you're not aware of. And then ask him for help with whatever you're doing in the future. Good. And close the ritual. How do you close it? You either do another um, banishing ritual, even though, yeah, just do another banishing ritual and thank Michael for, for helping you. If you don't know a banishing ritual, just thank Michael for helping you. And then you go and burn that, burn that piece of paper during the hour of the sun. Look up planetary hours for your location. And then ideally on Sunday, I mean, today is Saturday. If you want to do that, tomorrow is probably an ideal for day, right? Sunday is the, is the day of the sun. And Michael um, is connected to that sphere of that planet. Okay. And then uh, during the hour of the sun, once again, planetaryhours.net, I think that's, that's a good way. Uh, that's a good site. And type in the name of your place, your city, your location, and then uh, you will know what hours are connected to the sun. Good. And then during the hour of the sun, you would be outside and burn it. And you would ideally face south because that's the direction of, um, of Michael. Okay. You 
face south, use your compass on the phone and then burn it, load it into the wind and have a conversation with everybody involved and with Michael, ask him to help you. Okay, so the video cut off because the phone got overheated in the sauna. So to wrap this up, this video, um, this ritual is very powerful. Um, it's gonna help you move on into the future and leave the past behind, which is very, very, uh, which is useful, try it out. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do more and more of those videos. I'm gonna introduce you more and more to angelic magic and angelic witchcraft and why that is potentially something for you. I highly recommend it. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.